the Lord began to speak to me uh, on this consecration about me. Several years ago, maybe about 15 years ago or 10 years ago, I don't know how long it's been, you heard me talk about I was at this pastor's anniversary in St. Petersburg, Florida. And uh, I was teaching some principles of honor. But the Lord shifted the message and I began to teach on spiritual warfare. It was unusual for me to be teaching on spiritual warfare at a pastor's anniversary. I didn't understand it. I obeyed God. When I got back to my hotel room, the Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, take out a pad and take out a pen. I want you to begin to write down all of the sins that you saw in your father, in your mother, in your life, in your brothers, in your sisters. So I began to write them down. The moment I began to write, it began to flow like a flood. It began to come, it started coming. About 30 things came to me. I was shocked because I paid no attention to them. And that's how the enemy operates. He don't want you to pay any attention to them. So I began to write them down. But please listen to me. Even though I wrote them down, I still did not understand what the Lord was saying to me. I did not understand. So I thought I understood because this is what I've been doing since I've been basically saved. God has raised me up and the grace up in the anointing upon my life is intercession and warfare. Dealing with demonic powers, binding and rebuking them. Liberating and emancipating people and communities and regions. That's just been the grace of my life. When I used to travel a lot and minister out a lot, when I'm in the air, going to the place designated place to read uh, to minister when i'm in the air getting ready to land down god all of, all of a sudden began to reveal to me the demonic powers that's in that region over that city before i even land so when i get ready before i go to that church i get in my hotel room then i would know how to battle and to bind the manipulation of the powers of darkness that has been assigned to try to block and stop the meeting So when God began to speak to me, I began to write all these things down. So I came home and I shared with Cassie, well, I'm going to do the same thing. So those things uh, I wrote down and I began to take authority over those things. And my mindset was this right here. God was showing this to me because he didn't want this uh, to block and to hinder me, my spouse, my children, my grandchildren, my posterity. I want you to break it so it have no legal entrance. Well, watch this right here. So I began to do that. But my comprehension and understanding was liking unto this consecration. The Lord showed me what I wrote down. My mentality was the thing that I wrote down. The thing that I wrote down was nothing but the fruit. And that's what I was dealing with. I never dealt with the root. And I want to talk about that and teach on that today. If you notice in the scripture when it comes down to sin, everybody focuses on sin. And asking God to forgive them of their sin. But all through the scripture, there's three things that God have the children of Israel to confess or to deal with. Mainly two, but three. It is your sins, it is your transgressions, and it is your iniquities, which the average Christian have, we pay no attention to. We just look at sin, encompass them all, and it don't. All of it is sin, but it does not encompass it all. So what happens is this right here. This is what we've been doing to do. Put that image of a, the tree with the fruit on it, if you will, uh, back there. What God showed me as I was writing down was all of the fruit that's on the tree. That's what you do when you confess your sins. Oh, God, forgive me of this. 
So I'm asking God to forgive me of the manifestation of a thing that I done, a thing that I said. That's fruit. That's what? Fruit. Give me another image, if you will. After you done confessed all the fruit, the Bible says, think about it. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that's, what, that's the scripture everybody quote. 1 John 1, 9, what it says. If I confess my sins, he is what? Faithful and just for what? Forgive my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Confessing your sins is confessing the fruit on the tree. To watch the rest of this powerful message, download Panorama's app, which is available in all app stores by searching Panorama Christian Center. Create an account to stay connected with Panorama Christian Center. One word from God will change your life. Blessings.